Hi, I'm Mary Logston, and once again, here we are at your library. And as you can see, as many of you in the community know, your library has moved temporarily to 620 Lincoln Way in the Ames Lincoln Center. And we've been open for business now for a couple of months. And it's really fun to be able to tape um, this program today in an area where you can really get a nice view of what is available for you here at your library. Uh, folks who have already come to visit us are um, remarking on how um, happy they are that the library was able to bring all of our books, our movies, our music, our magazines, puppets and puzzles, uh, just a whole variety of our collections that had been situated over at 515 Douglas are now available for you here in this temporary space. Um, it's been really exciting to see that folks are coming with their laptops and taking advantage of our wireless um, connections. Um, individuals who need to use a public computer, a public internet station, they are pleased to see that we have computers available for use here as well in this temporary location. So it's just really a, a great um, time, I think February, for you to come in, if you haven't already, um, and make tracks to your Ames Public Library. In fact, we're in the middle of our winter reading program and make tracks to your library is the theme. And so whether you are a, a child who wants to participate in a reading program through February or a teen, we've got a program for you. And adult, there's a program for you as well. So please make tracks to your library. Stop by the information desk and ask about the programs or the youth services desk or the teen desk. Um, and of course, stop at the bookmobile if um, you're a regular bookmobile user and find out more about the winter reading program because we absolutely encourage you to continue reading through the winter and if a little bit of an incentive um, gets you to sit down, slow, slow down and read a bit more in February, um, we're happy to encourage you to do that. Today I want you to stick around because I'm going to be introducing you to a new library um, employee who recently made tracks to Ames. Um, and I think you'll really enjoy getting to know her a little bit more. Well, thanks so much for staying with me this morning. Um, as I promised, today at your library is going to return to our uh, previous program format for those of you who've been watching our show monthly. Um, and I'm going to be introducing you to a staff member who I'm hoping you'll find a little bit more about. Um, the last couple of months during at your library, we've really focused on the library move because that was the most important topic to all of us. Um, and that continues to be uh, a topic we enjoy sharing with the community. But today I'm really excited to be able to introduce Alyssa Dornick. Thank you. Hi, Alyssa. Hi, Mary. And um, what's fun about this portion of At Your Library is um, for the last couple of months I've really tried to um, bring folks um, into my uh, program and introduce them to the Ames community um, just to get a little bit more uh, familiar with, so the folks in the community can get more familiar with who is here working to make Ames Public Library work for everybody. <laughs> and what's fun today is that uh, not only are you new to the program, you're new to Ames. Yes, I am. So um, why don't you just tell us a little bit, um, for those people who haven't had a chance to meet you yet, um, what it is you do at the library? I am the Technical Services Coordinator and Assistant Systems Administrator, okay. which is a long title. Yes. And that means that I am behind the scenes making sure that the books get here mm -hmm. and get ordered. I work with acquisitions to make sure they get chosen, and I work with the selectors to make sure they all stay okay. on target. And then we work in the background with processing mm -hmm. and getting everything ready to get out here to the 
library for the people to use. Great, yeah. great. And actually, because of that work that you do, you're not typically out in the public so I much. hide in the back, so this is, <laughs> yeah. so this is good fun. to get out. There you go, there you go. Um, and actually, it's interesting because you joined us here at Ames Public Library at a pretty critical time in our library's history. It was uh, actually about the best time, I think, to join because oh. I came. And I was here for about a month and kind of learning my job and then got thrown into the move and yeah. got to meet everyone yeah. in a way that I wouldn't. And so it's been fantastic because I got to work with a lot of different departments that I normally wouldn't. So That's true. It's been a lot of fun. Go and not only that, I mean, as we all remember, um, during the move, um, we worked with volunteers. Um, it was just an entirely different way yeah. to get, I mean, if you wanted to plan a way to get to know your... your Library and the volunteers, yeah. and even other city departments, it's been... Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so we were really lucky. Um, it, it may have seemed a little chaotic as, as far as an orientation goes, but like you said, maybe it's, it's the best way to do it. It's a good way to do it. I'd recommend it. <laughs> but okay, yeah. well, good. Um, of all the things that you have been doing now just for several months um, that you've described, is there something in particular that you especially like about your role here? You know, it's been a good change. There's no day that's the same yeah. from day to day, and so that's, I think, the best part. Mm -hmm. You know, between working with the different books that come in, you know, coming to troubleshoot some of the stuff that happens with some of the computers, you right. know, that's, yeah, it just keeps it interesting and, mm -hmm. you know, challenging. Um, I hope you don't mind me sharing that before you came to Amesville Book Library, you were actually in an academic environment. Right. So that's a bit of a change. It's a bit little of a bit change. of a change, yeah. yeah. And again, you know, switching to the public library has been a lot of fun because you just get that diversity and people that come in and mm -hmm. just the materials that you yeah. select. So it's Great. a lot more fun to look at the books that come through okay. here. Okay. <laughs> There's not the nursing books, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's quite, so um, and since you mentioned books, um, I'll ask you, when you're not behind the scenes uh, doing your job mm -hmm. and you have a chance to wander the stacks, um, is there a certain area of the library that you really like to get lost in? You know, I'll kind of read about anything. I like nonfiction mm -hmm. a lot. I am a sucker for anything that's got cookbooks. Oh, and right. right now I was reading a book about the periodic table of the elements. Okay. Yeah, it's. You know, when I'm not reading nonfiction, I'm not sure if that's a double negative there, yeah. but, you know, I really like Neil Gaiman, right. uh, Douglas Adams. I really read, or I read a book by Sherwood Smith, a trilogy that she just wrote that mm -hmm. was really interesting, too. So it's kind of all great. over the board. So you're just like the, the, the an eclectic library user, yeah, which is great. which leans more towards fantasy, but okay. yeah. Okay, all right. Now, the couple of the authors that you just mentioned, um, are you familiar with um, whether or not they might have audio versions, download they, versions? They yeah. do. I'm not sure about some of the downloadable stuff. We should check stuff. on that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But um, I know, I mentioned Neil Gaiman, mm -hmm. probably the best book he's written is American Gods. Mm -hmm. We have that on audiobook. Okay. And one of my favorites that he's written besides that is Neverwhere, and we do have that, and he reads it. Oh, okay. And so it's an excellent, excellent, excellent audiobook that he does. I'd highly recommend that you one. Not all authors make good readers, but in this case... He makes a fantastic, uh, yeah. okay. And not, you know, all audiobooks are, you know, not as good as some of the others, sure. but that one, Yeah. I would, yeah thoroughly endorse. So that's great. So you, the, the book itself, as far as just um, the content of the book is mm -hmm. enjoyable, but then listening to it. And then him reading it, it okay. as well. All yeah. right. That's, that's a good thing to know. How about with our cookbooks? I know we have an expansive cookbook collection. That's, yes. that's an area of the... Rows of them. Rows and rows and rows, and they're heavily used, and um, we have new cookbooks coming in all the time. Um, mm -hmm. uh, is there a particular... Um, publisher or a certain kind of cookbook, kind of cooking that you really enjoy? I think um, my favorite publishers for cookbooks probably would be, or authors, I guess would be America's Test Kitchen. Mm -hmm. And what I like about them is, if you've ever seen the show on PBS, mm -hmm. um, they get into the science behind why recipes work and, oh, okay. you, know, the, you know, what makes them so good. And then in their cookbooks, they'll publish, like, a page of how they got to the recipe, which is, you know, oh, a little okay. OCD for some people, but, yeah, so, you know, for other of us, that's kind of our thing. So, good. you know, it's interesting to see the history behind how they got to there, and then they have, you know, incredibly detailed instructions Okay. that, you know, produce an excellent recipe. And you brought a, you brought a book today, so which one I did do bring, you have? This is the best 30-minute recipes. All right. This is, I think, one of their best ones because it is, you know, 30 minutes. Yeah. 30 minutes if you've prepped and you've got someone else to kind of, you know, help you with mm -hmm. what you're doing. You can 
usually get them done in about an hour. But all right, but still, yeah. that's that's it's, that's manageable. It is for manageable. Most people who yeah. want to make a home cooked meal. Yeah, because okay. sometimes you look at the list of ingredients and they're exotic and weird, and mm -hmm. you know it's like oh, and simmer for four hours and right. I'm kind of hungry now. Yeah. But this, <laughs> You know, you get great flavor in about 30 minutes, so. That's terrific, that's yes. good to know. So this is on our shelves today. That and is on our shelves. Do we have other books by America's Test Kitchen? We do, they've got okay. a whole bunch of different ones. They've got dessert ones, they've got mm -hmm. about an 800, 900 page one of all their best of oh. recipes, which is kind of, you know, a little mix of everything. They've got international ones, they've terrific. got appetizers, yeah, so. That's great, well, you you've definitely, yeah. no, no, don't stop. <laughs> I, I think we could do a whole program on cooking, which would yes. which would be super because there are a lot of folks in the in the library who are enthusiastic about um, cooking Food. and eating, yes. and who isn't? As um, am I. Another um, uh, little question that I like to pose to our library staff is, um, and I enjoy this because I find out things about the people I work with that I d didn't know before. Mm -hmm. No pressure here, <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, Anyway, if you weren't working as a librarian, and you have been a librarian for a number of years. For a while now, yeah. For a while. Um, is there some other line of work, some other vocation, some other thing that you've done um, that uh, you you enjoy equally as well, or that is you'd like to do later on? I would probably be, if I'm not cooking, I would probably be farming. You uh -huh. could put me in a tractor and I'd be happy all day. Okay. Doing my thing. So, and yeah. You, is that something that you've done I grew in the up, past? Yeah, I grew up on a farm, so, oh, okay. you know. So, if it's John Deere, I'll drive it. Okay. But, <laughs> so, yeah. you're comfortable in that, as, yes. as comfortable in that environment as you are here yes. in the library environment. Yep. Yeah, that's great. Yes. That's great. It's a lot of fun. Well, we are just so fortunate, really, to have you um, a part of our Ames Public Library family and for the community who hasn't had a chance yet to see you either um, during the move or just when you're wandering around here, um, I, I'm really happy to introduce you to the community at large. Um, and thank you so much for joining me today. Well, thank you. It's been great to be on. Well, so nice to sit down and chat with Alyssa today, and I'm so glad you stayed with me because um, she mentioned cooking, and I was hoping to share with you today a couple of ideas of things that you can be doing while you're taking time to slow down and read in February. Maybe you could get a pot of soup going in your house or start a loaf of bread. So I thought maybe just to get you thinking about some of the resources that are available at the library for those of you who enjoy cooking, um, I would share some of these new titles. Healthy Slow Cooker Cookbook is a title that just recently came into the library. I, and as you see, I've got a handful of books here. Make It Fast, Cook It Slow. Soup, A Way of Life not your mother's slow cooker cookbook. And for those of you who really love to get your hands into um, a good uh, batter, um, artisan breads I thought would be something that could really get you motivated to come into the library and check out uh, some of our cookbooks. I, I can't think of anything, any combination I would enjoy more than sitting down and enjoying a good book. 
and also enjoying the smells of a uh, hot pot of soup in the background or a loaf of bread baking in the oven. If those are things that you enjoy, I hope that you will definitely come into the Ames Public Library in February. Stop by and ask us if you have any questions. And as always, you can also check our website, amespubliclibrary.org. If you are curious about what's happening at the library, or if you just want to do a little bit of searching around and find some materials that you would like to check out on your next visit. For today, this is Mary Logsdon at your library.